This is Mr. Martin. These are the video uh, notes for lesson 7.3 for Geometry Advanced. We're going to be talking about compositions of transformations. So when we talk about a composition, really what we're talking about is doing more than one transformation on a figure. So we're going to apply one transformation and then right after that we're going to apply another transformation. So let's take a look at this uh, first example of two different translations. So we're going to do it one translation and then another translation. So for my first translation I'm going to follow this rule here. I'm going to take all my points x, y and I'm going to take my x values and add 1 and I'm going to take my y values and subtract 2. And then once I do that I'm going to apply this next rule. But let's do the first one. Um, so I'm going to start at point A so x values plus 1 so I'm going to move to the right 1 and then y value subtract 2 so I'm going to move down 2 so here's my new a prime same thing with b to the right 1 and down 2 so here's my b prime and then for c to the right 1 and down 2 so here's my c prime and then I'm just going to connect the vertices to get the triangle and we can see that it's been translated to the right. The whole thing is right one and down two units. So now I'm going to take my new triangle and I'm going to apply the second transformation so that I have a composition of translations. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two to each x value and add one to each y value. So let's start again with a. I'm going to add two to the x's so move right two add 1 to the y's, move up 1. So here's my a double prime and then for point b to the right 2 and up 1. So here's my b double prime and the same thing with uh, c prime. I'm going to move to the right 2 and up 1. So here's my c double prime. Finish it off by drawing the triangle and here's my second translation. So if we look at this picture we could have gone directly from this first one to the third triangle. So for the first question what single translation is equivalent to the composite of the two translations? So go ahead and uh, if you want to pause the video while you think about that and answer that, go ahead and we'll talk about that when uh, I see you next in class. We'll make sure we all are on the same page. And then part C, what single translation would bring um, triangle A prime B, A double prime B double prime C double prime back to the original triangle? So going backwards, what translation would work? So for both of these, we want to rule x comma y translates to and then you're going to fill it in and over here x comma y and we'll fill in that rule. Now moving on to the first investigation which is going to lead us to uh, one of our conjectures we're going to complete a GeoGebra activity so what I want you to do is um, keep pausing the video and switching back and forth between uh, the video and GeoGebra and do the steps as we do them um, you know so you can do the investigation as well so um, let's switch over to GeoGebra and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to construct two parallel lines so let's start with a line so I'm going to construct a line you can construct it like I do um, or you can construct it however you would like so again if you want to pause the video go over to GeoGebra on your computer and construct your line go ahead now what we want to do is we want to create a point so I'm going to get my point tool up here and I'm going to create a point and then I'm going to construct a line parallel to line AB that goes through point C. So I'm going to go back here to my menus and I'm going to 
click parallel line you see the first one here is or the second one is parallel line so make sure you have the parallel line and again if you're not sure what to do with the tool if you scroll over that little triangle it will tell you select point and parallel line so now I'm gonna select the point and then I'm gonna select the parallel line and it automatically constructs this new line parallel to the first line so if I get my cursor over here and I move this line around you see that my new line always stays parallel to it because that's how I constructed it alright so if you haven't done that go ahead and pause the video and construct your parallel line next what we want to do is we want to construct a polygon so if you don't have the polygon tool go ahead and grab that so you can draw whatever type of polygon and we're gonna put it all the way on the left so I'm just gonna make some sort of a shape here it doesn't really matter what you do so there's my shape and now this next uh, menu that we're gonna use this is our transformation menu so we're gonna do the first one reflect about a line so you wanna select that one and then again if you hover over the triangle it says select object to reflect then line of reflection so if you hover over your polygon it will give you a pop-up that says polygon poly one or whatever yours is you wanna click on that because if you hover over one of the other points it'll say point E or it'll give you a segment so make sure you're over the polygon and click on the polygon and then you're gonna click on the first line and you see how it reflected it right over so now we have a mirror image alright so make sure you can do that pause your video and rewind as necessary to follow along with the steps now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our new polygon so we're doing a composition of reflections now we're gonna take this new polygon and we're gonna reflect it over the next line so you can see how it's already selected here because it's kinda highlighted if we click this line hopefully it will reflect it again well let's try it so let's click our menu here select our polygon and then select our line sometimes it takes a minute to come on now let's try selecting our menu item again reflect about a line select the polygon select the line there we go okay so now we've got it reflected over the second line and once you get this done what I want you to do is I want you to draw a little sketch in the space that I provided you in the notes of what you have here so go ahead and pause the video and draw in your sketch so I'm gonna go back to my notes here so in this space you want to draw a little sketch of yours so here's my parallel lines and I had something like this I'm just gonna sketch it in real quick and then it looked something like this it doesn't have to be too accurate just get it in there mostly and then again something like this so we sketched it in and what I want you to do is I want you to try and figure out if I reflect over two parallel lines what single transformation could accomplish going from this to this okay and that's where you're gonna fill out the blank lines here if you think you know what goes there a composition of two reflections across two parallel lines is equivalent to a single fill in the blank we'll talk about that in class in addition the distance from any point to its second image under two reflections is blank the distance between the parallel lines so if we go back to this there's another menu over here where we can measure distances and angles so distance or length if you want to measure if I want to measure the distance between these two lines I can just click the two lines let's try that again so let's do this line and let's try the point 
And what do we get up here? Hey, that's not what I wanted. All right, let's try that one more time. Let's select our menu here. And we've got distance or length. So I'm going to select this line. And I'm going to select this other point. That should give me the distance. Yep, there we go. So the distance between this line and this point is 3.12. So then what you can do is pick any point on the original image and any corresponding point on the second image and find the distance between those and see how it relates to this distance here. So that's what you're going to do on your own. So go ahead and pause the video and uh, work on what you need to and then uh, we'll go back to the notes. Alright, so do your best at filling out uh, the blank lines on that uh, conjecture. Investigation 2, now we're going to do a reflection across two intersecting lines. So again, pause as you need to to uh, follow along. So we're going to go back to GeoGebra here. I'm going to make a new file. And I'm going to draw a line. And then I'm going to draw another line that intersects this one. So I'm just going to go through point A. So now I have two intersecting lines. I could change the angle between them as I want to by dragging either one of these. All right, again, pause when you need to. Now I'm going to construct a polygon all the way over here on the left. I'm just going to make a quadrilateral here. And once you have your quadrilateral, we're going to go back to our transformation menu. We're going to reflect about a line. So remember, it's select the object to reflect, then line of reflection. So I'm going to select my quadrilateral, and then I'm going to select my line. Oop, try that again. So select that. Select that. There we go. All right. So go ahead and do that. Pause if you need to. And then I'm going to reflect this image over the next line. So select my menu again select my polygon select my line the stylus is a little tricky there we go okay so here's my second image so now we can see that this one is a reflection of that one and the second one is a reflection of the first one but I want to see how does this first image relate to this second image. Okay, how are those two related? Okay, so what I want you to do is do a little bit of measuring. Um, again, our measure thing over here, you can measure an angle. For example, if I wanted to measure the angle between these two lines, I could select three points. I could select B, A, C, and it tells me that that angle is 51 point, or 61.37 degrees. And then if I wanted to measure an angle between, let's say, F, A, and, or F double prime, A, and F, I could do that as well. So go ahead and play around with measuring those angles and see if you can figure out how you would finish uh, the conjecture back over here. Reflection across intersecting lines conjecture. Okay, there's some hints kind of in the words that are here already. And again, we'll talk about that next time I see you in class. Um, so good luck with the investigation. And uh, make sure if you had any questions, you write those down in the margins and ask me when you see me in class.